Hi, it's James Holzmeyer with the Wabash Railroad Historical Society. We're here at the Monticello Railway Museum in Monticello, Illinois, working on WRHS caboose number 2824. Um, my son Matt and I were here a couple weeks ago and we made a, a video about how to put the new weather strip that we got back in the sliding cupola windows. And I got a, posted it to YouTube and got a nice email suggesting that we make another instructional video about how to get those particular sliding windows out and that's a good idea so that's why we're here today um, just for the sake of uh, the video we're just since we've already got the windows out we'll just uh, uh, just assume that the windows are still in here just for the sake of the video uh, they are about between 10 15 pounds with the glass in them so I'm not going to endanger you know breaking a glass or uh, dropping the window frame at all and, and uh, bending that aluminum frame. So um, we'll make a short little video about how to get these window frames out. First thing you're going to need, uh, let's go over the tools you're going to need. Uh, first of all, you'll need a straight screwdriver with the blade, uh, proper blade to um, take the screws out. Um, also, undoubtedly, if your caboose has been exposed to the elements, you're going to need a really good penetrating oil. Uh, here, for example, at the museum here, they use uh, a product called Croil, K-R-O-I-L, and it worked like a charm on these screws. So we, you just uh, put it down in there and let it soak in. And of course, these screws that hold this window track down are exposed to the elements and have been for for many, many years now. So uh, you might let that soak in a little bit, and uh, it should make these things come out. I hope, hope it does. Um, you may need a set of vice grips in case you round the edges on the uh, on the screws. Now when Gary and Rowe and I did this back in 2010 for the first time we tried to take the screw out of this hole and uh, basically it just it was so the screw was so corroded it just twisted right off and the the remainder is still in there. I've got to drill it out and uh, make sure that hole is open before we put these back in. But this particular uh, cupola window, you'll see as I'll do a pan here, that the window is held in by uh, a lip on three sides, the two sides and the top. And uh, the only way this window can come out is from the bottom. You can see the, the notch right there. There's one on either side. There's one down there also. Um, so first thing you're going to have to do is get these, uh, get these screws out. Now, if you look at the window, this panel here, you'll see when the windows are in the shut position, um, you'll see three screws. One, two three. First thing you do is take these three screws out. Okay. I'm doing this left-handed, so there we go. Here's what the screws look like. And just had a regular head on them. You know, we pulled these out. I don't know why I saved them, because we're going to use a replacement, and I'll go over that here after a bit. So take these three screws out. Now, if you've got a helper, um, which you should have because, like I said, these window frames are about 10 to 15 pounds a piece. Um, first of all, come to this window. Well, whichever side has the biggest gap to let this come out. In, in, in this particular instance, it's this one over here. So shut that window all the way down there, open this one, slide it out to the middle, and that will allow you to get one, two, three, four more screws out. This is a six foot aluminum track, right at six feet. 
and there are 11 screws holding it in. Three in the middle, four on each side. Um, get these four screws out, shut this window back, come to this side, do the same thing here, open it halfway, and take the following screws out of this one. One, two, three. Now, you're gonna wanna at least loosen this screw, the end screw, um, and keep it in there because that's going to be your pivot point when you bring this track out. Um, because this one did uh, twist off, we'll have to use that one as a, as a pivot point. And that'll keep this window in place so it won't fall out on you. Okay. Now when you get, when you get all the screws out, open this window just a little bit to clear the, clear the lip, give it about an inch, and then just start working, working this track out. It is aluminum resting on, on an angle iron piece that's welded to the side of the caboose. And quite frankly, this gets a lot of moisture and a lot of um, grime and debris over the years. So you may have to come back in here with your screwdriver and pry it out a little bit, get it loose. Once it's loose, hold on to this window frame, but at the same time, pull out toward you, and that'll let this drop a little bit. Like I said, the other side is still secure, um, so both windows won't fall out at once, and then just lift the window frame out and set it down. Put this back in, slide it right back in, and then put, a, put the screw in the end one, you can use a nut on it if you have to. Uh, you can use a uh, 6x32 machine screw uh, with a nut on it if you, if you, about an inch, inch long. Come down and remove, open this window past this point to where you, we can get this one off. down in there to secure this side and do the same thing. If this won't come out, for example, this one is, there's not too much clearance here. If it won't come out, um, you, you're just gonna have to undo that down there. And that should come out and you can take your window frame down. Now here's a cross section of this, uh, this aluminum window track. It's made by Adams and Westlake from Indiana. I have the original plans for this, uh, Wabash Ann Arbor plans. So I'll post that on the Wabash Caboose Owners Group and um, if you need a hard copy of it, I'll burn it to a CD or something. But if this breaks when you take it out, no sweat because Adams and Westlake is, is really good about working with uh, uh, railroad museums and such to uh, they have the plans for all this stuff so they're really good about working with museums and historical societies and stuff about they can grab out the original plans out of the drawer and then make you some new stuff so okay and that's how you get them out essentially uh, when it's time to put them back in you just do it the exact opposite way Hopefully you'll have somebody that, that'll help you. That window will go on, and then this window will go on, and then you'll secure it back with, uh, with your screws. Now, like I said, um, on this one, you can see I was able to get, it's the same kind of track on the end and on the top. I was not able to get the top one out of this one because those screws are just no amount of croil will will break them loose so we're just going to leave that track in at the top but I was able to get the side tracks out and put them in the bead blaster and uh, they cleaned up quite nicely they look really good but 
how I've chosen to secure these in place, I don't know, if, gosh, I don't know if you can see it or not. I'm going the opposite way. I'm going with the head of the, uh, the machine screw on the outside. So it looks more like a, I don't know, a rivet or something like that on the outside. It won't draw your attention like a uh, nut or something on the outside. So I'm just going the opposite way. And on the inside, I'll show you a close up of this track. That's where your that's where the nut will go. And you can use square nuts on these. It'll I've done some testing, it'll still allow your your window to slide back and forth. But just from the bottom it'll look like like a rivet or just like so. And you can choose, I mean, you can use the original screws if you want, but uh, we're just using the zinc oxide, regular machine screws on it. Um, and that's about it. It's, it's, I didn't find it to be really too difficult to get these windows out. Like I said, Gary, Gary Rowe and I did it in, in 2010, and that coil just seemed to work pretty good magic about getting these screws out. So, and, uh, if you have any questions or anything, get a hold of me at wabashry at gmail.com or you can shoot me a message through the WRHS Facebook group or I've set up a Wabash Ann Arbor Caboose Owners group too. Um, just shoot me an email and I'll get you added to that. And uh, that's how we'll share these, uh, these line drawings and the specifications for the Wabash Cabooses. Uh, just if you have any questions, comments, or rebellions, just let me know how we can make these videos better. Tomorrow, I'm going to shoot a video of the exterior and the interior just to let the membership and, and the public see the caboose and, and what we've done to it um, since January of this year and uh, show you the progress of it. Hopefully, by the end of the year, we'll have it sandblasted and primered and repainted on the outside. And then will come the interior, finishing the interior work. We've done a lot on the inside, but uh, still got a lot more to do. So that's it for now. Um, get a hold of me if you have any questions or uh, uh, anything. And thanks for watching.